Okay, in this video we're going to look at output and we're going to look at a workflow between Rhino, 3ds Max, and even Grasshopper. So we're going to go ahead and start out in Rhino 5. And most important thing here is really to be conscious of your units. So we're going to start out in Rhino 5 using large objects feet. Let's take a closer look at our units. So I'm going to type in the command units enter. And our model units, one unit equals one foot. I'm going to change the distance display to feet inches. I'm also going to set up my grid so that we can use our grid snaps to do a little bit of drawing in Rhino. So I'm going to set my minor grid lines to be every 10 feet, my major lines every 10 minor grid lines, so I'll have heavier lines every 100 feet. I'm going to set my grid snap spacing to be every 10 feet. Okay, so what we have are just some basic curves here drawn in Rhino. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this as a DWG file. So, and I'm actually going to select all of these and go to File, Export Selected. Okay, so I'm going to save this as a DWG file, so AutoCAD. And I'm going to give this a name. So these are my Rhino curves. And for my options, 2004 natural has popped up. Most likely yours might be default or the last thing that you've used. So I'm choosing natural because if I go to edit schemes and I go to curves, it outputs my curves as splines. And we'll talk more about some of the other options. Now I want to look again at this 2004 natural and I want to click on edit schemes. Now what showed up on mine, export surfaces as meshes, the first time you do this it shows up as export surfaces as curves. So you end up getting 2D geometry. Of course we want 3D geometry and we're going over to 3ds Max. So exporting surfaces as meshes works out well for us since uh, 3ds Max is a mesh modeling software. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to click on save so it saves that change and close and I'm going to click on OK and you'll get this option and for now I'm going to leave this in the middle the polygon count okay so now I'm going to go over to 3ds Max and everything that we bring into 3ds Max we're going to link it and we're going to, it's essentially uh, an, an external reference that if we make changes, we can update those changes in 3ds Max. Now, the first thing you want to do in 3ds Max is check the units. So I'm going over to Customize, Unit Setup, and I'm going to click on System Unit Setup. And I want one unit to be equal to one foot and click OK. Um, the display unit scale can be US standard feet with fractional inches and the default units this is just display so I can display my my units in inches and I'll click OK. So we'll go ahead and link in our Rhino surface so we'll go to the Big M import and we'll choose link AutoCAD and I'm going to choose Rhino Surface and click on attach this file and there we see our surface uh, made using some curves from Rhino so we have it in 3ds Max and if I click on the teapot that should just render out 